today I got the Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra, Elegoo's latest resin 3D printer. And I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you guys as well as talking about the specs and the new features as well as showing you guys how to set up the machine itself. If you'd like one of these 3D printers for free, subscribe to my channel. I mean, I'm not going to give it to you for free, but you know, you can still subscribe. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into it. Let's cut it open. Okay, so the first thing we get out of the box is the power line. This is just the cable that you're going to use to connect to the brick that then goes into your outlet to turn on the printer. Next up is the drip tray. Now this is a really cool feature that they've added to the resin printers, which basically allows you to keep your LCD screen and the rest of your printer clean and free from resin. If you've ever resin printed before, you can know how much of a mess that it could be. So basically this just prevents it from getting on the screen and all the important components that you'd never want it to get on. We also have the user manual, tells you how to set up the printer and how to set up the networking features and everything else that you need to know. Last but not least, the Mars 5 Ultra itself. The entire unit is pretty much pre-built for you, so that is a huge plus. Okay, so this is the acrylic base, and I'm guessing there's nothing in here except for foam. So this you can set off to the side. Once you've opened up the machine, you'll find your toolkit that'll have the wrenches and scrapers and all the other tools. Next, you can carefully remove the styrofoam which holds the build plate. And as you can see, they went for this cool textured hexagon pattern, which is going to help the print stick better to the plate. To attach the build plate, simply just pull up on this tab. Remove the protective plastic over the build plate and slide it onto the slot of the Z-axis and firmly press down onto the latch. Now grab the antenna from the toolkit and we're going to install it onto the Wi-Fi. All you have to do is screw it on clockwise and that's it. Then unscrew and remove the two screws that are holding the vat onto the machine. Take the vat off of the printer and remove the protective film from the LCD screen. There's also a protective film on the vat itself, which is the white tab. I just forgot to do it. So make sure you remove that one as well. And remove the lens cover from the AI camera. If you haven't already, remove all of the saran wrap and styrofoam from the acrylic cover. and carefully place it over the machine. Once you've got your power brick, just plug in the power line onto the bottom of it. Then plug in the DC in into the DC out on the printer and fire up the machine. Once you've turned on the machine, it's going to run a self-diagnostics test which is a really neat function and I've never seen a 3D printer do this. So it's really nice that it's able to test all of its motors and temperatures and other sensors before you even have to start printing. Next up, we're gonna set up the Wi-Fi. So just go to settings and then click on Wi-Fi. A message may pop up saying no Wi-Fi detected. Just refresh the page. Once you've found your network, just enter the password and click confirm. Once you've connected to your network, it's going to ask you to upgrade and go ahead and just hit the upgrade button. Once the upgrade is done, you just have to do a simple reboot and your printer is ready. Now that your printer is set up, let's head over to the computer and set up the slicing software. Open up the USB on your computer, click on slicing software, click on Shidubox Pro, select the OS that your computer is running, then click on the launch pad. Go ahead and follow the prompt all the way through. Once it's all done downloading, just click on finish. Next up, it's gonna ask you to make an account. Just go ahead and register. It's free and you don't have to pay anything and it'll bring you to their website where you can just sign up for free. Once you've gotten it installed, go ahead and click on the network button, and then it's gonna ask you to download the Shitu Manager. Just click on download and wait for it to finish. Once the download is complete, just click on add printer. It is then going to do a search for 3D printers on the same network. Once yours pops up, just hit add printer. 
Once you see your printer over on the right hand side where it says added printers, that is it. So once you guys have your Mars 5 Ultra connected to your network, you're able to view the files inside of the device, check any recent or past prints that you've done, and you're also able to look at the AI camera's video surveillance. So if you get... What the heck are you guys looking at? And that completes the unboxing and setup for the Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm super excited to start using this printer. If you guys have the printer or if you're looking into grabbing the printer, let me know down below and subscribe to the channel for more 3D printing content and I'll see you guys in the next video.